My decision to come to Cabrini College was based on, uh, I wanted to go to a campus where I knew the people would uh, push me to be the best person I can possibly be inside and outside the classroom. I was looking for uh, a place where I'd be close to home uh, that had my sport and my major. Basketball is something I never wanted to coach um, and I wanted to stay away, far as away from as possible. Uh, how I got into it is a funny story. Bobby Morgan, who was the women's coach at the time, uh, she didn't have enough girls to run a full court game at practice. So she asked me to, uh, can I come over so they can actually have five on five and run up and down in practice. And I did that for an hour right after practice was over. Uh, the coach at the time who was here, John Zeke, um, his, one of his assistants asked me to stick around and help a kid out with some shooting drills. And I did that. And then next thing you know, that one working with the kid after practice led to now being on the bench. My job you know, in the program is to take some of the pressure off a of coach, let him game plan, let him get ready to prepare our team the best way he possibly can, and let me take away you know, uh, the other things such as you know, if they're having trouble in the classroom or financial reasons or just off the court problems they need somebody to come and talk to. They know that's what my job, that's what I'm here for. Slim has been most, more than a coach to me. He's, he's been my mentor. Anytime I have a problem, it's straight to Slim, straight in his office. The office right on campus is easy, it's right in the dead center. It's very, very convenient. Just go in there and have a conversation with him. I, I love it because you have that family bond with people, uh, with the players, and I, I'm a big brother to them. So traveling on the road together, eating pizza and restaurants together, these are things that we're going to be able to talk for 30, 40 years down the road. A good time we can reminisce on, oh, remember that bus trip to Salem? Or remember this happened in the hotel? So they're my family, and, they, and I tell every guy on the team, you can call me whether it's you know, 12 noon or 12 at night. I'm always there for you around the clock. So Yeah, he's, he's, he's in way more than a coach, friend, mentor, up, up and beyond. Starts out as your coach, but definitely becomes your friend as you go along. And the past four years, it's what Salim has really become. I mean, he's been a coach, but he's a guy that you kind of look up to. And um, you want to be like him when he grows up because you could see the success that he's had here at Cabrini, whether it was from playing to coaching to working in admissions. He's always like that one step ahead, and that's where everyone eventually wants to be. So. And every day, our, our, what we tell our players is uh, hard work beats talent. With talent, doesn't work hard. And we, want, we have ta talented players, but we want them to work hard every day because that's how you get to the top of the food chain you know basketball never feels like work to me you know um i think that uh you know it's a lot of hours but it doesn't feel like work because i'm enjoying it and and when you have good people around you you don't even feel the number of hours that's put the man hours that's put into being uh, having a successful program or working to uh, be a successful program so no i don't feel like a job